Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are on our town hall 10, and this is a new farming base. Um, I am going to be pushing as well while using this. Uh, but the reason that I'm doing a farming base, first of all, if you guys want, uh, if you want to use this base, go ahead and take a screenshot right now, um, just so that you can kind of figure it out along the way. Um, but <clears throat> A lot of people will tend to trophy push with farming bases, especially uh, in my case where somebody's pretty much always going to get a one star on my base, um, whether they use Lunian or something like that. For the most part, they're going to. So why not just throw that town hall out there for somebody who uh, isn't going to steal my loot while they're at it, but they're just going to get the, the town hall. And it'll give me a free shield, and then so I can attack. Uh, whenever I have two hours ready, I can boost and just move up. So uh, I'm going to use this base for a little while. It already got attacked, but it was just somebody picking off the town hall, which I'm perfectly fine with because then they're not stealing my loot. But why don't we go ahead and start talking about this thing. So I designed this today, um, and I think that it's going to work pretty well. I'm looking at it over on the side right here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and, and we'll just start in the center of the base. So obviously we got our clan castle centralized. Uh, because that's super super important and then our dark elixir and our gold all right because we want to protect our gold most of all in my opinion um, because I am trying to upgrade walls and so on and so forth uh, and uh, dark elixir for troops and trophy pushing etc etc uh, but let's go ahead and bring in our expo so both of our expos are going to be pointing up because I'm not trying to have any uh, body loony and farm me like white uh, <laughs> white lightnings in my clan, and he uh, is farming up in champs with loony, and, and it's ridiculous how much loot he's getting. But um, so that's why I've got my expos pointing up to the sky, uh, oh so high, so that they can protect the base uh, and the loot on the inside. So there's all of our expos. Let's go ahead and bring in all of our resources as well, just so that you guys can kind of see where those are going to be laid out. Um, we're going to have to bring in our Tesla right here and another Tesla right here. And then we're putting our gold in here. Come on. And our gold in here. And then our last, uh, then we're going to put one elixir storage over here in the corner. Uh, we are going to put a wizard tower right here and an elixir storage right next to it. <clears throat> and then a wizard tower right here and an elixir storage next to that as well. So there's all of our, well, what am, I, what am I missing? I'm not missing anything. All right, so that's all of our loot. So all of our loot is protected throughout the base. It's spread out so that nobody can get it all at once. I'm gonna have all these little trails inside of the base to just completely distract troops as they're running around, walking around, whatever it is that they do. Uh, <laughs> so I've got all these little routes in here uh, that you can see that aren't protected by walls. Somebody could come in and walk all the way through. And then the things that are inside the walls are uh, the defenses that I want in there, obviously, like my mortars. So we're going to have one mortar right here. We are going to have one mortar right here. And we are going to have one mortar right here here and those are going to do a great job for us protecting the base next we're going to bring in two of our air defenses like i was saying a lot of people are crushing it with the uh with the loony and farming right now it does get a little bit expensive on the elixir side but once you're up in champs and high masters the uh the league bonus definitely helps a lot so we're going to bring in our uh our archer towers as well because those in turn are air defenses also uh, and we'll go ahead and just spread those out around the base as you can see we're going to put our last ones one right in here yeah that's the right spot and one right in here and those are going to help protect our base they are spread out all the way around giving us a pretty good even coating of air defense <coughs> as well as uh, ground defense now we have our archer tire right here protecting this Ex no, what am I saying? This air defense. We have this archer tower right here protecting this air defense. And then this expo protecting both of those. And the Tesla even comes in and protects that air defense. So we've got a lot protecting that air defense. Um, 
Now, if somebody drops a rage, we're screwed pretty much as it is when it comes to those two buildings. Um, so I could, I really could put the air defenses um, in a little bit further, maybe behind another defense. So right now we've got to bring in our other uh, wizard tower. So we've got one wizard tower right there, and then we're putting our max wizard tower right here. So we could switch it out to where the air defense goes. Uh, oops, I don't want to do that. Come on. We could switch it out to where the gold goes right here and the air defense goes right here. But um, I don't think I want to do that because then these top air defenses are going to be really, really close together. Um, but I mean, that might not be that bad. Why don't we try that? We'll try that. We'll switch it up, guys. Again, uh, anytime that I make videos like this, the, the video that I post is not the final of the base because as I get attacked, I switch things up and whatnot. Um, so we'll do that and where do our other air defenses go? Our other air defenses are going right here and right here So our air defenses are super centralized anybody tries to get to the center of this base with loons or anything like that It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You just stop wasting your time. <laughs> We're gonna fill in these two uh, little wall sections with Just mines and pumps to distract some troops uh, like archers and whatnot, and then we've got cannons that we're going to put in these areas. So if anybody drops golems off right here uh, or anything like that, they're going to head in there, and I know that the golems won't spring on the spring trap, not the pekka, so don't tell me that I'm wrong because I know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but we might want to actually put this right in here, um, and I'm actually going to do that over on this other side as well. So we've got uh, this cannon right here. And did I scoot that archer tower in? Why are those different? Can somebody tell me why they're different? I'm just going to pull this out. But that's not where... Why is that different? Did I build this wrong? I might have this top section. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Here, let's fix that real quick. Uh, so we got to move this whole thing over or down one. Select row, down one. There we go. Select row, look at that guys, not paying attention. And grab this select row once again, bring it on down, select this. We've got to take these two things in the center of the base um, or of those walls. Select row, bring that down. There we go, that's what I wanted. Um, this is gonna go right out here. And then now we can bring that spring trap right in there. So any troops going between those two defenses are going to regret it. So let's go ahead and bring in our most important defense, our Inferno Towers. They are spread out well, covering a good majority of the base, and it's going to take um, a lot for troops to focus on them because they're going to be freaking distracted. They're going to be distracted by all of these open things without walls. I, the biggest thing with this is I don't think people are going to know how to predict attacking it because it is a lot different than um, some of the bases that you'll see. So we'll bring in the rest of our cannons. And our last cannon is going to go up here. All of these areas, if somebody attacks, uh, they're going to get absolutely wrecked by the spring traps and the giant bomb. <clears throat> Again, the giant bomb is after the spring traps. Or, yeah, the giant bomb is after the spring traps because you don't want to damage a troop and then shoot it off. You want to shoot off full health troops and then damage the rest of them. Because if you damage some and then shoot them, it's wasting, it's wasting your defenses. So that's one thing that you always need to pay attention to is getting rid of the troops and then damaging the rest, not damaging the troops and then getting rid of them. Because, like I said, it's kind of counterproductive. Uh, and we'll go ahead and finish this little portion up here. We've got our king and our queen that we need to bring in. Our king is going to go right over here. Our queen is going to go right over here. And then we have got to put a, another Tesla right here and another Tesla right here. And then uh, our other last Dark Elixir drill is going to go right there. So, like I said, I think that this base is going to work pretty well. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, we are going to attack in this video. I know that I have a shield, but I'm trying to uh, get a little Barks raid in here for you guys. Uh, but there's the base. I think that it's going to work pretty well. I have my level 9 walls on the inside of this because wall breakers are going to blow them up either way. So here, the wall breaker is going to blow all this up and any troops that come in here are going to work their way around and then they're just going to beat themselves to death on these level 9 walls. Same with all of that. Um, 
and so on and so forth. So I think the base looks pretty good. I'm excited to see how it works. I wish that you guys could see it uh, over here on my Clash of Clans builder thing. Uh, I might be able to pull that in there. No, it always looks different because the perspective is different. But if you guys want to practice building bases, definitely do it on Clash of Clans Builder dot com uh, because it helps me a lot whenever I do that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, but here's the base. I think it's gonna work well. Like I keep saying, fifteen freaking hundred times. Uh, but let's go ahead and attack. I'm gonna see if we can uh, find a base that we can uh, get a measly little one star on and get some loot from. Hopefully, uh, with our barch and our uh, heroes so look at this guy's base a little southern teaser huh you trying to tease me is that what you're doing huh it's not gonna work i'm not attacking you all right well i'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds once i find a base that has an okay amount of loot that i think i can get with barch uh because a lot of times especially now as the boost is going on there's a bunch of people with loot that they have forgotten to collect sitting on the outside of their base so all i gotta do is look for the collectors that have Little spinning things on them like that. But homeboy right there had already collected his. So I'll be back in a couple of seconds, guys, once I find a base. This looks like... Is this Nick's base? Nick at night? It looks kind of like it. All right, I'll see you guys in a sec. I keep rambling. Peace. All right, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and attack this base uh, and see how we can do. So we're going to drop off a wave of barbarians up here. Throw in some archers right behind them to start ticking on some stuff. Uh, and then we're going to bring out some more barbarians all the way around. That guy's got a whole bunch of giant bombs that he just completely wasted his gold on over by that elixir storage. Uh, it's super important, guys, where you put your bombs. If you're trying to farm, then you don't want people blowing up your bombs, uh, especially if you're not protecting that much loot, because if people are blowing up your bombs, it's costing you gold. <laughs> so definitely pay attention to that. Uh, I'm going to drop my queen off right here so that she can come in here and get me all of that dark E uh, and then we are going to roll out. Dang it, I should have used her up at the top of the base uh, to get me some of this elixir right here. Uh, let's see what she does, though. She's being an idiot and getting killed. If we can take out that... Oh, no, she's going to die. All right, whatever. Uh, so there we go. 57%, not too bad. 80,000 gold plus that bonus. Uh, both of those almost 100,000, whatever. Um, super, super cheap and efficient. I am going to start farming with loons, though, and um, minions, maybe throw in some lava hounds, even though that's not going to be efficient when it comes to the dark elixir. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you all like the base. If you try it out, uh, let me know how it works for you in the comments. If you switch some things up, let me know that, too. I'm not perfect, never claim to be, uh, and uh, I'm just having fun designing bases. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do in the game because it's a mental challenge trying to figure stuff out. So, uh, yeah, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Y'all are rocking. As always, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.